And all new today, more dangerous and more aggressive. That is how a top U.S. military officer is describing China's military. U.S. General Mark Milley made the comments during a stop in Indonesia this morning. General Milley saying that the number of intercepts and unsafe interactions between the U.S. and other partner forces has significantly increased in the last five years. This also comes as the U.S. seeks to strengthen its relationship with Pacific nations as a counterbalance to the situation in China. And now China is sending a stark warning to the White House ahead of a possible trip to Taiwan by House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Correspondent Joe Khalil is joining us now from Washington, D.C. And Joe, China is threatening that the U.S. will bear the consequences if Pelosi takes this trip. Yeah, they are. And look, you just laid out a lot there. Really, it's been the perfect storm of tension uh, between the United States and China over this issue of Taiwan. And by the way, it's poised to get even more heated in the next couple of days. But you've had American uh, lawmakers, officials, military leaders, all critical of China for its posture toward Taiwan. And by the way, as you referenced, that rhetoric is heating up on both sides of the Pacific. The Russian war in Ukraine has prompted American officials from both parties to be more aggressive toward China and more defensive of Taiwan, concerned about how the U.S. would respond if China really did decide to strike. Just this morning from Southeast Asia, America's top general, Mark Milley, said the Chinese military has, quote, become significantly more and noticeably more aggressive in this particular region. I think that it's important for us to show support uh, for Taiwan. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made waves this week after reports she's considering a trip to Taiwan, defying the Chinese government prompting this from President Biden. The military thinks it's not a good idea right now. In May, the president himself vowed to defend Taiwan from Chinese aggression, later walking back his comments. But Pelosi got some rare praise from a few Republicans who called the move a strong statement to China. In order to blunt that, uh, obviously it's going to take a concerted effort by us and our allies around the world. The number two Republican in the Senate, John Thune, tells News Nation exclusively by continuing to support Ukraine, the U.S. sends a message to China, back off Taiwan. The best thing that could happen for the free world and to um, essentially uh, rein in China and their ambitions is for the Ukrainians to be successful in defeating the Russians. Thune's comments to News Nation come after the CIA director confirmed this week China's building up its military for a Taiwan invasion, learning from Russia's mistakes. If there's one lesson I think they may be drawing from Putin's experience in Ukraine is you don't achieve, you know, quick, decisive victories with underwhelming force. And Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo explained on CBS's Face the Nation why protecting Taiwan is a national security priority. And those are the sophisticated chips that you need for military equipment and high-end computing. We buy almost all of them from Taiwan. We talked about tension even increasing this week. Taiwan has planned military war games. These are essentially training exercises, and already they said that they have seen a Chinese naval reconnaissance ship off the coast of Taiwan. So just add that. It's one more piece of tension between China, Taiwan, and its defenders. Natasha? All right, Joe, complicated situation. We appreciate you tracking it for us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.